Thank you very much. May I use this opportunity to thank all the service commanders of the Nigerian security and military forces here in Calabar and Cross River State in general. May I commend you for all your gallant efforts so far. Let me put it on record that Cross River State statistically remains the safest state in Nigeria. However, as a state, we're used to the culture of zero kidnapping, zero cultism, and zero robbery. In recent past, the increasing numbers of crime within the Niger Delta and the country as a whole, arising from the difficulty orchestrated by NSAS as well as COVID-19, which brought a general poverty and general hardship upon the entire world. So Nigeria is not an exception. Given that background, a lot of our citizens, citizens of Nigeria, have taken to criminality as a means of livelihood. But as a country, we have a responsibility to our youths. As leadership and as governor, president of the Federal Republic of Nigeria, and all of us in leadership position have the emotional sensibility, emotional intelligence to recognize the fact that this country will be handed over to the younger people. If that is true, it is our responsibility to protect and take care of the young people. But you must give us an opportunity. Nobody in position of government will be happy to see a young man or woman on the street without a job. Unfortunately, the falling prices of the oil and the attendant consequence has dealt a great blow on our economy. Unfortunately, given that background, we have seen rising levels of crime. But as a government, we have to be responsible. You recall that at the NSAS protest, Cross River was very cautious with the use of kinetic solution to address the challenges of hoodlums and the looting. But today, the instruction is very clear from Abuja. You must deal decisively with any form of criminality. You must deal decisively with any form of banditry, courtism, kidnapping of any form. Let this, therefore, be a strong message to every cross and non-indigenous alike, that as far as you are resident in cross state, states, today is the end of that criminality. Today is the end of that armed robbery, that banditry must end today. We have received the instructions from federal government, and I have supported and I stand strong with all my military men and the police that they must comply with the obligations, instructions, and orders of the Inspector General of Police and the Commander-in-Chief of the Nigerian Armed Forces, that Cross River State must be made a safe haven. Recall that Cross River State is a maritime state, sharing boundary with Cameroon, recognizing the Amazonian armed conflict that has bedeviled the Cameroon for some time, leading to an ingress of militants from over 33 immigrant routes into Cross River State occasion also and exacerbated by the increasing level of militancy within the piracy around the Gulf of Guinea. All of this has put a lot of pressure on Calabar in particular, recognizing also that the federal government has put so much effort in protecting the pipelines. Ultimately, 
Calabar indeed became the safe haven for criminals. With the great efforts by our great policemen and our military officers, arresting, detaining, and prosecuting so many. But because few have happened, our people are impatient because they recognize that Calabar is the tourism capital of Nigeria, and therefore we can afford an incident. That has been our culture, a peace-loving people, nice people, good at heart, always willing to give a shoulder for a weaker brother to lean on. The average Crossivarian believes in the excesses of good life, bliss, and pleasure. We are not criminals. That is why even the security records of all those arrested so far, less than 1% of those responsible for kidnapping and armed robbery in Cross River are not from Cross River State, which is to me a sense of pride that the average Cross River remains that pristine, decent man that we know. But time has come when every single Cross River, including landlords, must account for every tenant as part of the regulations which I have signed into law under the Homeland Security. It is responsibility of government, the police, and the military structure under this operation at Paku to demolish the property of every single house that is being occupied by an armed robber, a kidnapper, or any bandit. If the property belongs to a landlord, the landlord should be held accountable. That is the provision of the law. That house will be demolished. Today, we have provided over 100 vehicles, 10 power bikes. We have provided radio and supersonic telecommunications, which will not be terrestrial. It will be satellite-based communication, and so we have full connectivity across the entire state. Any single citizen who comes on a trade by an, a kidnapper, the nearest neighbor just needs to notify a particular number which will be distributed and will be announced on radio as soon as this uh, launch is done. As soon as you call the number, both the power bikes, the army vehicles, the police vehicles, the navy vehicles, the air force vehicles, the civil defense vehicles, all of them in their numbers will cut on that area and conduct a massive search until those culprits are arrested. Today, if you are not licensed to carry a gun, once you are found with a gun in your possession, you will pay the price. You will, f you will pay the full price as provided by the laws. We know clearly that a lot of people have taken to storing arms, not for hunting, not for leisure hunting, not licensed arms, but arms for criminality. Today marks the end of all of that. The cordon and search program will continue. The looting that we experienced in the last experience is a thing that should never happen again because the message and instruction is now very clear. And for those who plan any form of protest going forward, please, Cross River State has made ample provision. Not too long ago, less than two weeks, we concluded the recruitment of 20,000 youths. And as at yesterday, they were all payrolled and they will get the alerts today because the salary for November will be paid. It is clear on records that I have done all I can to ensure that the youths are engaged. In addition, the Cross River State Construction and Fabrication Academy, which is aimed at providing jobs for those who have no proper education. So if your certificate cannot give you education, let your hand, let your hand give you a job. If your certificate doesn't give you a job, let your hand work give you a job. So the Construction and Fabrication Academy has opened up to employ all young Cross Riverians to teach them carpentry, mercenary, bricklaying, glazing, refrigeration and air conditioning, and all forms of handwork that can enable you to earn a living with independent ease without resorting to criminality. The Construction and Fabrication Academy is right now admitting students. It was advertised across the nation. So as a government, I have decided to ensure that young people who school in Cross River State University of Technology do not pay tuition. I've exempted Cross Riverians from the payment of tuition. I've exempted young men who have finished their youth service, including young women who have no job. I have extended them by introducing the ENYC, which is an extended NYC program, to guarantee that you continue to earn that basic 33,000 naira pending when Cross River State can get you a job. So as a government, we have made ample provision for young people. But I'm not idiot proof, neither is the government. We don't have an infinite elastic means of earning income. So we are limited by income. 
but at the same time we are committed with intellectual money to continue to expand the horizon of hope. But please, don't abuse the shame. Don't bring shame and disgrace to your family because your parents went through so much to bring you to this world. You cannot be a source of embarrassment and disgrace. Nigeria is the pride of the black world. Nigeria, with a population of 207 million people, projected to be the third largest um, in terms of population size by 2050. It is a shame if we allow Nigeria to fail. No government, no responsible government will watch young people destroy the country in the name of protest. Let's get to the negotiating table. Let's discuss the fate of this country. Let's discuss the fate of young people. We agree that as leaders, we may have failed, but it's not deliberate. It's a circumstance of time. Please, let's have the righteous patience to please tolerate the leaders and direct us when we are wrong. But the choice of arms, the choice of rebellion across the world has always paid with bad luck. If you check through the whole of Africa, young countries that have decided to go towards civil strife, they degenerate to full-blown war, and they never, ever, ever get out of it. I therefore plead in the name of Jesus Christ and the God that you serve, that let us all please drop the anger and tension. Let us sit together as a people. The entire world looks onto Nigeria as a source of hope for the black man. And that is why black today is no longer an expression of color, but an expression of attitude of greed, inefficiency, and lack of capacity. That is the story we want to reverse. That is the story we want to change, that indeed Africa and indeed Nigeria can direct and drive the black world into a greater prosperity. The prosperity agenda set up for Cross River State cannot manifest except there is peace and security. And that's why today we have decided that security will come first before salary. Security will come first before pension. Security will come first before every other consideration so that we can bring Calabar back to what we know Calabar for. Peace, tranquility, a place where you come and live and be at rest. That is what we know Calabar for. I want to, on the final note, conclude by asking every law-abiding citizen to please go about your businesses because Operation Akpaku is properly equipped to block every section from Satellite Town to Atimbo to Calabar South down to Eight Mile to every single section where the security report shows high volatility. They are all going to be marked down. So if you know that you want to stay and see this Christmas, if you know that you don't want to see yourself behind the bars, if you know that you are a proud son or daughter of your parents and you, you don't want to bring an embarrassment to your family, stay out of crime, surrender your guns to the police, and we will find a way to provide for you under amnesty. The Bakasi Strike Force that voluntarily, under the request of federal government, surrendered their arms, I must say with pain that up to this moment, federal government have not accepted and admitted them into the amnesty program. We want to ask federal government to explain to us why the Bakasi Strike Force has not been given proper restitution, rehabilitation, and reintegration as they have done in other states. This has been part of the restiveness in Calabar. I therefore use this opportunity on the open air television to speak to President Buhari, speak to the NSA, to the Chief of Army Staff, the Chief of Defense Staff, that with your own request, upon your own request, the government of Cross was they partner with federal government to receive and accept the arms from the Bakasi Strike Force. Why, three years after, you took away the arms of these militias and left them hungry without any care? It is unfair, it is unacceptable, it is not Afropolitan, it is not Afrocentric. If you have pushed somebody to the point that he has surrendered, you have a duty to give him protection. I plead, I plead in the name of God that please the Bakasi Strike Force should be admitted onto amnesty so that they can have their dues properly trained so that they can be citizens that will bring value to society. At this point, therefore, let me officially declare Operation Akpaku fully, fully open. As we do 
a guided tour of all the vehicles, all the gadgets, the communication instruments, the power bikes. Please take note. For every part of Calabar, there is a telephone number to call in the event of an emergency. Every single neighbor must note when the neighbor is in trouble to just put a call and Operation Akpaku will be there. I wish every one of you a very wonderful Christmas and I want to see every one of you in 2021. May 2020 not be part of Nigeria again in our history. Thank you and God bless. <laughs>
let it be a subcontract under a Nigerian contractor. We have to keep and densify our funds within our country. That's the only way this country can grow. The solid mineral deposit is too huge. The crude oil deposit is too huge. The gas deposit is too huge. The human resource intellect is too much in Nigeria for the level of poverty. I believe that if there is peace and you allow the presidency opportunity to really take advantage of these two and a half years left, a lot of hard things will happen for good for the country. Let there be no more protests. Let young people please engage. Please engage. Those who are encouraging you to take arms, to protest, their children are abroad. They themselves they are talking from overseas. Let them come and live in Nigeria and tell you to protest. They will not do that. So please don't be deceived. You have to stay alive to see a better Nigeria. You are a coward if you fight and die in the process. The gone are those days where we have matters. A matter has to stay alive to see the reward of his hard work. Let us all stay alive so that Nigeria can get better. It is not by killing ourselves. Let's not be a source of ridicule for the global world that the black people with all the wealth that Nigeria has, all we do is to kill and fight ourselves. That story has to change. Let no international press tell us a story about ourselves. Let us reduce the amount of international consumption of foreign information. Let us protect our own country. This is the only place you walk around without a passport because it's your country. Therefore, I once more plead with young people that my heart is with you, my body and soul is with you. But please, stand by government. Because the Bible says that the man is authority, is put there by God, and you must obey. Obey the people in authority. And the people in authority, you have a responsibility to your citizens. Let us get to that point of equilibrium where there is a kinetic and intellectual balance between the governed and those who are governing. Thank you. Hi everyone, welcome to Blood Skin Care. I hear this is a product to look very effective and affordable. It's not for pimples, rashes, sunburn, eczema, and black spots. So we be hearing a lot of complaints from people that they've been using other products and it hasn't been working. Let's try this one with some cost later. Some products like caramel lotion, body whitening milk, different kind of products, like different kind of shower gel for you and it's not going to damage your skin it will make it glow do you want to whiten up do you want to maintain your skin do you want for your children do you want for yourself purchase our product it's very safe for so you we need to look beautiful and attractive in december i'm telling you guys you will love our products we just need it you know, worldwide Contact is on the screen, just contact us and make your orders anywhere outside or within the country. Don't forget to place your order now. DJ LTV. DJ LTV. People are little people. Don't say no, they don't like us. Welcome to DJ TV. DJ TV. DJ TV. DJ TV. DJ TV. DJ TV. DJ TV.